Allen with Paddleboard South. I'm with Justin, and you're going to show me how to paddleboard. I've never done this before, so how hard is it? Uh, it's not hard at all, really. Um, we've had everybody from five-year-olds up to 75-year-olds out here paddling with us, so uh, I'm, anybody can paddleboard. It's, it's easy. So what do I need to know before I do right, this? So we're going to get started with some basics. Um, first basic, uh, we're going to go over the paddle, okay? Okay. These paddles are all adjustable. Uh, we do want them at a certain height, okay? For what we're doing today, we're going to adjust these paddles for uh, probably about probably about eight, about eight inches over your head. So if you'll throw your hand up here like on top of this paddle for me, we're going to bring this up. All right, we're going to get you about right there. Okay, that's good. All right. I'm pretty short, so. That's all right. We're going to clamp that down, okay? okay? All right, so you're good there. You guys good? All right. And the reason we're going high, we have to account for not only standing, but we also have to account for the thickness of the board and things like this, okay? All right, so once we get our paddles adjusted, we're going to go over some basics on this paddle. Unlike a canoe paddle, okay, the blade of this paddle is angled up, okay? You can see that um, it, it, it's angled at a degree there, all right? Um, I know the first time I jumped on a board, I was like this, you know? Right. Uh, common sense told me that's the way you paddle. That's actually incorrect. That's actually incorrect. And the reason for that is, is that as we stand on the board, all right, and as we put our paddle in the water, and as we pull that paddle through the water like this, you can see when, we're, when we have it going the correct way, when this paddle is fully in the water, we're now using the full face of this paddle. If we're backwards like this, number one, we're not using much of it here, and then we end up scooping water by the time we get back to our feet, okay? Okay. So for the correct way to paddle, we want it angled forward. All these boards have a handle, okay? You can see handle, handle, handle. Those are carry handles there, okay? Uh -huh. The handles are the dead center of the board, okay? So when we're on our knees or when we stand, um, we're going to want that handle either in between our knees and we, or we want our feet on either side of that handle. That's to make sure the board's in the water. Uh, okay. balanced, uh, not pushing the nose in, not dragging the tail. Um, so we'll start off here and here, okay? All these boards are uh, between 11 to 12 feet long. Um, they're all basic recreational style paddle boards um, and, uh, and they're great. We have a couple other boards here. We've got a race board out in the water there. Uh, we've got a touring board, which is a longer uh, board made for more um, you know, uh, longer paddles, but these are great for what we're doing up here today. So like we talked about, the handle is the center of the board, okay? Okay. So when we start off, okay, we're gonna throw, just kind of throw our paddle up across the board like this, okay? Right. And then what we're gonna do down it, we're gonna go one hand here, one hand here, throw a leg up, and then we're just gonna kind of push off with our other leg, okay? Just like that. I didn't really push. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so get your paddle, there you go. There you go, you're there. But I haven't stood up yet, that's no. the problem. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get there. How easy is it to balance on those? Well, you know, that's why we start off on our knees. We're gonna get on our knees and we're gonna get a feel for the board, okay? We're gonna rock the board back and forth. We're gonna be comfortable on our knees so that we know what to expect out of these boards when we stand up, okay? Uh, balance uh, is an issue, but uh, these boards are a lot more stable than a, than a surfboard is uh, or are. Uh, so uh, balance balance shouldn't be a problem, all right? I tend to fall on everything. everything. So how often do people fall doing this? Um, we have had people fall. Uh, I will say the people that fall are probably not as frequent as the people that don't fall. So I think your odds are pretty good today. Okay. Safety is key. These are considered vessels, okay? Uh, so what that means is, is that we, we need to have life jackets on board. Now, when, when we're dealing with people, when we have new customers and new people come up to paddle, you know, one of the first things we go through is, is everybody able to swim? Does anybody have any issues if they do fall oh, wait, in the water? Oh, swim? Yeah, you, maybe, if you fall in. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> uh, but, um, so life jackets are, 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 are key.